Wait, wait, wait. Just hold on one second. So if you've been thinking about cutting your own hair, or even if you have the clippers in your hand right now, before you attempt to cut your hair, there are five things that you need to know, and we're going to get into them right now. Okay, now there are two things that made me make this video. Number one, I have been, <laughs> I have been seeing a lot of messed up haircuts on Facebook, Instagram, and let me just make a disclaimer. I commend everyone for making an effort, but I'm going to get more into that in just a second. And number two, I've had several people reach out to me and say, hey, Thomas, what do I need to get started to cut my own hair or how do I cut my own hair? So instead of just responding to each person individually, I just thought it'd be best to make a video and share it with everyone. And we're just going to jump right into it. So number one, don't underestimate the skill that it takes to cut your own hair. To be honest with you guys, it's harder to cut your own hair than it is to cut someone else's hair. Because when you're cutting someone else's hair, everything is in front of you. Just imagine you're cutting your own hair. You're having to look in the mirror and maneuver the clipper different types of ways, hold it at an odd angle. So it's a lot harder to cut your own hair than it is someone else's. That's another reason that this channel exists is to help people like self groomers. So that way you won't be intimidated when you're trying to cut your own hair. And if you haven't seen the video, you can click up above and watch the self cut video that I just put out last week. This leads me to tip number two. So tip number two is you need to make sure that you have all of the necessary equipment to cut your own hair. So the basics that you'll need, you'll need a clipper, a trimmer, a brush or comb, a, a clipper brush to knock any of the debris off of the blades. Disinfectant, of course, to disinfect your clippers. I recommend getting a neck duster or some type of, just anything to get the particles of hair off of you while you're cutting your hair. You'll need the necessary guards, a neck strip, and last but not least, you need a case. And I mentioned this in the last self-cut video that I just did. You can use a handheld mirror, but it'll be really hard to hold the mirror in one hand and also hold the clippers in another hand. So I recommend getting something like the self-cut system, which is a three-ray mirror, and it, it allows you to see each side of your head. Also, for those of you that are really timid and scared to line yourself up, there's this tool called the Cut Buddy. It has different angles to help you shape your arches and even the front of your line. I have a 10% off promo code that you can use. Just type in BSD when they ask you for a promotional code on the website. I'll put the link in the description below. Now this leads me to tip number three. Before you even begin to cut your hair, you need to get familiar with the tools that you're gonna be using. What helped me to really learn to cut my hair is I got really comfortable with the clippers before I turned them on. So I would mimic what I would be doing in the mirror. I would make the same movements, flicking my wrist, acting like I'm lining myself up, actually looking at the different angles of my head, just getting comfortable in the mirror. When you first use the self-cut system and when you turn your head in different angles, it can kind of seem like it's backwards. So that's why you have to really just sit there and get used to the angles. Like I said, literally practice what you're gonna do before you do it. Because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, once you turn that clipper on and cut the hair off, you can't pick it back up off the floor and put it back on your head. Get comfortable with the clippers and trimmers in your hand so that way when you actually get ready to do it, you feel more comfortable. All you're doing is developing muscle memory and you're making that muscle mind connection. Okay, so let's say you've already, you watched several videos, you've got all the equipment that you needed, you practice in the mirror before you turn the clippers on. Okay, the next thing. Let's say you haven't had a haircut in a month or a month and a half. Let's say you want a number one with the grain and you want to taper on the sides and in the back. So you take it one step at a time. After you cut the hair down, then you make your guidelines on the side and in the back. After you make your guidelines, then you start blending on one side, then you go to the back, then you go to the other side. Then after that, you know you have the line up. Break the bigger picture down into smaller steps. So you wanna make it easier for yourself. That will make it much easier and give you confidence as you go. And last but not least, tip number five. Some of you may already know what this is, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Take your time. Let me say that again. Take your time. I know whenever you go to the barbershop, it may take them anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, but you have to think, if you're a novice barber, a beginner, you're not gonna be experienced. Your barber has probably been cutting your hair for years and this is your first attempt. So this is the main takeaway from tip number five. You can't be scared to cut the hair. A lot of people, they're too timid when they're cutting the hair, they're like, oh, I don't wanna cut out too much, but if you want a haircut, you're gonna have to cut the hair. That's why I say you have to give yourself that confidence. So just take your time, trust the clippers, and I promise you, you will get there. You're at home, you're supposed to be sheltered in, so you don't have anywhere to go. So I mean, just take your time. And this is the main thing that I want you guys to understand. The first time that you cut your hair, no, it's not gonna look like the barber did it. You know, that's why they say, 
practice makes progress. The more and more you practice on cutting your own hair, the better you're gonna get. So by the fourth or fifth time that you cut your hair, you're like, hey, I'm pretty good at this. You know, I, I do a decent job. It's starting to look like how my barber does it. And hey, who knows? You may even transition into cutting your own hair full time. So let's backtrack one more time. Tip number one, don't underestimate the skill required to cut your own hair. Tip number two, make sure you have all the necessary equipment. Tip number three, get familiar with all of the equipment that you will be using. Practice in the mirror beforehand. Get familiar with the clippers and trimmers in your hand. Tip number four, don't let the big picture intimidate you. Break the haircut down into steps. And tip number five, take your time. Okay guys, so I just gave you these five tips. So now you have the knowledge and hopefully now you have more confidence and you feel better about cutting your own hair. I want you guys to hashtag Barberstyle Directory on Instagram and tag us in your self cuts. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you got value out of this video. Peace.